Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to compress video files. So a situation I come across a lot myself is when using Facebook Messenger, there's a 25 megabyte file size limit. That means that any videos that I have and want to share with my friends on Facebook Messenger, I have to make sure they're under 25 megabytes, which isn't often the case. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to compress your video files. So that being said, let's get started. And the tool we're gonna to be using is called Veed. Now you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D and click on the first link, or I'm gonna put the link in the description just below. So you can click on that as well. Now, once you're in Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just gonna click on the new project button in the top left. And then we're gonna be prompted to upload the video that we want to compress. So I'm just gonna click on the upload video button and I'm gonna select this video and you'll see that if I hover over it, as you can see, it says 27.5 megabytes. So I'm going to select this video, click open, and then we can see the progress of the video upload in the top right. Now in the left toolbar right here in the project tab, we have the export settings and we're going to click on adjust. So we're gonna change these and there's a few ways you can do this. If you want, if you wanna do it just quickly and you don't wanna play around with any settings, you can just click on draft. So this is for low quality files and quick render times. You can select that, click off, and then just click on download. If you want to have a little more control over how you compress your video, again, we're gonna head back to the Xbox settings, click on adjust, and this time we're gonna head over to the advanced tab. And here we can actually change a few things. Now, the biggest thing you want to focus on is the CRF, which is the constant rate factor. And long story short, the higher the constant rate factor, the smaller your file will be. And obviously the smaller or the lower the CRF, the higher quality your file is gonna be. So you can just play around with it. You can render it a few times to see how it is, or you can turn it all the way down. And there's also the encoder preset. So basically we can either choose it to, we can have a slower render time and it can be a smaller file, or we can have a really fast render time, but the file might be a little bit bigger. So what you can do is click over here and then over here, and we'll see, we're gonna see how much we can compress our video basically. So once I've done that, all I have to do is just click download button in the top right, and Veed is gonna to start to render my video, and this can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how long your video actually is, and also what export settings you've chosen. So as we can see, that render time was reasonably fast, and the first thing you'll notice is if you have a look at the quality, the quality doesn't look amazing. But now the moment of truth is if we actually click on the download button, we're gonna see how big the file is. So it's downloaded, and if I open it up in my folder, now, if I hover over this, as we can see, it's not even one megabyte, 933 kilobytes, which is pretty impressive. So if I wanted maybe a, a better quality, I could go back and maybe lower the CRF a little bit. That way the file quality is a little bit better. But that is how to compress video files online using Veed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.